Hello everybody! Today we will discuss something about marking of resistors. The resistors are marked in different ways. Some of them are marked through colored lines and others use numeric code or have marked on them the exact value. The majority of true hall resistors are marked with colored lines. Their value can be marked with 4, 5 or 6 lines and the last line is a little bit further away from the others. By example, for resistors with 4 lines, the first line means the first digit, which is equal to 5 in the shown image. The second line means the second digit and is equal to 6. The third line is the multiplier, which is equal to 2. And the last line stands for tolerance, which is plus or minus 5. This gives a value for DC resistor of 5.6 kilo ohms with 5% tolerance. Another kind of mark for resistors is a code with 3 or 4 characters printed on top of them. This code is used for SMD resistors and it is of several kinds. In the case of the code with 3 characters, the first two numbers indicate the significant digits and the third character indicates the multiplier. The multiplier character shows the power of 10 which is to be multiplied with the value from the first two characters. For example, 103 is equal to 10 multiplied with 10 to the third power which is further equal to 10 multiplied with 1000 which means 10 kilo ohms and 391 is equal to 39 multiplied with 10, which means 390 ohms. In case of 4 characters code, we see a similar system, with the difference that here we have 3 significant digits, and the 4th character is the multiplier. R means the comma in the value. For example, R100 is equal to 0.10, multiplied with 10 to the 0 power, which is further equal to 0 0.10 multiplied with 1 and means 0 0.1 ohms. And 5102 is equal to 510 multiplied with 10 square, which is further equal to 510 multiplied with 100 and is equal to 51 kilo ohms. Also, we find other resistors who have the normal value written on them and no code is needed. These resistors are the power ones. Now you know what value is a resistor and if you can use it, in case you have one and you don't remember what value it was and you don't have a multimeter. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and share and see you next time.